New fees imposed by the Port of San Diego on waterfront businesses are causing some port tenants to scrap projects. The port started imposing the fees last year. The agency had money problems and was bailing out its budget. Companies that want to improve their property or just renegotiate their lease are now being told to pay for all port time spent processing paperwork and issuing approvals. The port is billing up to $300 an hour or more for its staff, and bills have totaled five and six figures. Navy ship repairer BAE Systems moved a diesel fuel storage tank project off port property after learning how much it would cost. The port was going to charge $30,000 to approve a project that cost only $50,000. Developer GB Capital backed away from plans to build a hotel, shops, and luxury RV park at National Cities Marina after receiving its cost recovery bill in the fall. The fate of that project is now unknown. The Shelter Island Boat Yard must pay $165,000 in fees to build a new pier and boat crane. The city of Coronado is fighting a $188,000 bill for a dock and boat launch project. And for the 160-boat Shelter Cove Marina, a new port charge proposed every time they get a new subtenant is too much. Well, they completely took us by surprise. It was just kind of a, here's a notice, we're going to give you this bill, and everybody kind of was a little bit uproared about it because we're already paying exorbitant rent, rent fees just to have a business on the Port Thailands to begin with. After hearing complaints, the Port Tenants Association called for the suspension of the program this spring. Port officials stand by the fees. So. Implementing these fees, it's, it's an important part of being fiscally responsible for any government agency. The fees are intended to recoup the agency for the cost of providing a specific service to a person, a business, an entity that is going to benefit from that service. An ad hoc committee is reviewing the cost recovery program to see if there is room for improvement. For The Watchdog, I'm Ashley McGlone, UTTV.